The instant code pack is a common item found in many emergency first aid kits. If for some reason you find yourself without your butane lighter, matches, or fire still, then it is possible to make a fire with a code pack and cotton. This is one more example of how versatile the Rudiger Row friction fire method is. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Rudiger Row using the contents of an instant code pack. Now, before I go any further, I want to go ahead and issue a warning. If you are going to duplicate this experiment that you see here, uh, then I take no responsibility for injury or damage to property or even potentially even death that may occur if you choose to duplicate what you see here. Now, with that said, I'm sure that everybody has seen these guys before. Now, how these code packs work is they have a water bladder and on the inside of here, they also have ammonium nitrate. And when you squeeze these guys, the water breaks, or the water bladder breaks, and it leaks out into the ammonium nitrate, and it gets cold. That's because the chemical ammonium nitrate is mixing with the water, and it's going through what's known as an endothermic reaction, which basically means that um, it's absorbing the heat from the area on the inside of the bag which is lowering the heat and basically it's getting very cold. Um, the reason why I'm using it is because ammonium nitrate is an oxidizing agent. That's a very strong one actually. It's actually used in, well, it's, it's been used to make uh, explosive formulas. Um, I'm not going to comment on those and I actually advise you to steer clear of messing around with ammonium nitrate for that purpose. This video is about a fire making method only and that is it. And that's where I draw the line. Um, let me go ahead and get this set up here. I've got cotton here. That's what I'm going to be using as my rolling medium. I have used ammonium nitrate with uh, plants before but the sake or purpose of this video, I'm just going to be demonstrating with cotton. I'm going to get a small amount I'm going to place onto the cotton. You might not be able to see that because it's wide as well. But if I had to venture a guess, I would imagine the amount is about that of a teaspoon. I suppose. That's about what I'm going to use. Set this aside because you don't want this near flames. When I roll this up, I'm actually mashing down on the ammonium nitrate to break up those crystals because it actually works better that way. And I'm going to be wiping off any that's accrued on my surface because it can actually cause it to slide the row when you're rolling it if you get any of it on the surface. Okay, just rolling it up. Hopefully you guys can hear me. The wind is really picking up today. Crush it down even further as I'm rolling it. Get a few passes with my top block. Let me go for the ember now. There we go. Should have an ember at this point.
Hopefully you guys can see that. It's kind of bright out here. I'll go ahead and take my time, take it to flame. Hopefully this tinder bundle is okay. I collected it out here and it's been raining the past couple of days. Yeah, it's a little damp, but that's okay. Just fan it around, give it some oxygen. There we go.